So I went to North Carolina, and I went uh, to the eastern part of the state and visited many tobacco farms and, and uh, met many young kids who were working in tobacco, you know, 13-year-old uh, Sare Cambre Alvarez, 16-year-old um, Ana Flores, 15-year-old you know, Edison Buenos. Um, and, uh, you know, it is fairly prevalent. And, and, you know, I was shocked that a lot of these kids said, I work on the fields from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Ana Flores told me she wakes up at 5 in the morning, uh, leaves for the fields at 6, gets to the fields at 7, you know, works until 7 p.m., sometimes 8 p.m., sometimes 8.30. And a lot of these kids told me they get really sick some of the time. Uh, the nicotine, when, when, when there's a lot of dew, when, there's, when it rains, the nicotine in the plants will kind of dissolve into the water. And when it gets on people's skin, that's when they get this nicotine poison and green tobacco sickness. And they throw up, they get nauseous, they get, they get dizzy. Um, this one 15-year-old girl, uh, Esmeralda, Juarez, Esmeralda Juarez, told me that at one point she was feeling so sick, she asked her supervisor, I really need just to sit for five or ten minutes and feeling nauseous. And, and she told me that unless she kept on working, he was going to fire her. So it's a, it's a very difficult, uh, shall I say, road to hoe. It's, you know, it's very difficult for these kids. It's very difficult for many workers 